And hello, my friends. This is Mike Holt, and I'm glad you're with me today. I'd like to talk to you about two of my favorite subjects that all started in 2001 with Black Beauty, an extraordinary wolf that followed me. And he literally showed up every time I was photographing in the Lamar Valley. He, was, he would howl and howl and howl in many different directions. First, he would howl to his left. And then he would howl to his right. And then he would look directly at me whenever it was, I was trying to photograph him. He knew he was well aware of my presence. Here you can see him turning to his left. Then he turned to his right. And now, as I saw many times, he looked directly at me and I knew he wanted something from me. I knew that we had a relationship and I knew that there was something going on out there he was stressed, he was worried for some reason, and I don't know what it was. It could have been a lost pack member of some kind, but in any case, he was with me for about two, maybe three days, until finally he led me up to his pack at the end of the Lamar Valley where it turns into the Lamar Canyon. Here you can see some of the encounters, and as time went on, he started approaching me even closer. He always stayed a good hundred yards or so away, and at the time, I didn't have near as good a telephoto lens as I have nowadays. But I did the best that I could, and on the last day or two, he approached me in good photographic range, and I was so, so grateful to him. On that last day, it started getting dark, and he started trotting north as though he wanted to show me something or he wanted to lead me to something. And I followed him, and there, when I hiked up an adjacent mountain so I didn't want to disturb the wolves, I could not believe the sight before my very eyes. Black Beauty was showing off his pack to me. He woke them up. The, packs, the, the pictures that you see here, some of those black bumps that you see in the snow are rocks, but some of them are wolves that are still sleeping. But Black Beauty woke them all up, and I will never forget the howling, and the encounter that I had with this magnificent beast out in the middle of Yellowstone in January. Now we have the Lamars. This is actually a picture that I took in 2013 before the Lamars were that much of a well-founded pack. This is the great alpha female 926. And she was very young then. This is the love of her life, 925. And at the time, they were running together, but I don't think that they were a mated pair just yet. On this very special day, I was out photographing again, and I just had to, drove right into a lot of activity in this pack. They were running around everywhere. The pups, they had six of them at the time, very healthy. They were very good parents. I have never seen such healthy pups in my entire life. They started running around. And they were playing at first, but then I could tell the, the adults, and it's hard to tell the adults for the pups here because the pups are so healthy and adult looking. But I could sense that there was some kind of urgency starting to go on. The pups were not necessarily playing anymore. I saw the alphas running around, and you could tell that they were actually trying to assemble them. They were trying to get them up on the trail which is above these two pups right here. And they were trying to get them moving out of the area as though there was a sense of some kind of emergency or worry or concern. Here they're moving to, off to the north through the Soda Butte Valley. And as they do, I could tell that the adults were very anxious and they were very concerned about what was happening for some reason. And I guessed that it was an encroaching rival pack member and I also think that it was probably either the Mollies or the Junctions at the time. As they started running down the ridge, they started going faster and faster, and some of the pups were not exactly behaving, and it took the adults a long time to get them back up on top where the ridge was and to get them running to the north, as you can see right here. The pups ran and ran and ran and ran, and got, it got faster and faster as time went on. And the last I saw of them 
was them running like there was no tomorrow across the ridge here. And I'm sure they made it out okay. Sadly, 925 was killed four months after I took these pictures here. My friends, I'm glad you're with me. Thank you very much for being here.